just so concerned about this green belt evangelism, about this idea that we should protect this amount of area that was decided in 1948 and, and say that there should be no building on what is quite often scrubland. And then there are beautiful green fields that aren't in the green belt. So I think we need to um, have, a, have a disassociation between what's green land and what is green belt land. And green belt land often is sort of, it can be the best for development. And I mean, what about... I'm on a quite a low income and trying to live in London and it's not easy. Uh, house prices but you are haven't got large swathes of green belt in London. High. I mean, that's an economic well, I mean, issue no, about, about having I mean, economic are, regeneration all, all, opportunities all around outside of um, London. Out, out of London, there, there are, there are, there's lots and lots of green belt. And actually what happens is if you increase the supply of housing, it doesn't just decrease um, the house prices in the area the houses are built, it decreases a whole, across the board. So the answer can't be to ban things or tax things. The answer has to be to build more bloody houses.